All right, guys, it's not going to be an intro today. I lost my voice. Um, Actually, I'm sick. I'm sick right now, and I sound like Chris Sells. So I sound like Chris Sells right now because I'm sick. So I'm not going to be talking too much in this reaction, but y'all know we got to get to work. You feel me? Got to got to give the content. So basically, this is another Carmen and Corey video. Corey is responding to Carmen. And I'm going to leave it at that. Before I play on this video, subscribe to my channel. You heard, put your chest in it. And smash that like button. Turn on your post notifications so y'all can get notified every time I drop a video. So let's get right into it. I'm not going to be talking too much, guys, because my voice. So as I previously is reported, Carmen is pressing charges on Corey after he leaked those photos. <laughs> now, Carmen's lawyer did speak out on Instagram. She stated, as many of you know, at its Carmen has endured unspeakable trauma, including doxing, revenge, P, cyberbullying, threats and relentless harassment. These actions not only violate her privacy and dignity, but also represent a gross infringement of her fundamental rights. Such behaviors cannot and will not be tolerated. We are determined to pursue all available legal avenues to ensure at its Carmen receives the justice and protection she rightfully deserves. As a victim of domestic violence myself, I encourage anyone who has experienced similar injustices to come forward and seek help. Our doors are open and we are here to provide the legal guidance and support needed to navigate through these challenging circumstances. So Carmen has officially lawyered up and Corey was on Instagram live. He is out of the hospital. He did explain why he was in the hospital in the first place, as well as his whole situation with Carmen, why he exposed those pictures and everything else. I'm going to post the live here. And as always, you guys leave your opinion so he's getting sued i mean not she taking i don't know if she's gonna sue him but she's taking him to court because her ex well her husband current the day they still marry this negro posts her naked pictures online to try to prove a point Shorty said that he had sex with her best friend and i guess he was doing that to um show proof that they was doing threesomes, threesomes willingly as a couple. You feel me? But why would you even try to prove your point like that? That's stupid. But I'm not gonna talk too much. My my voice is fucked up. Like it's Chris Sales 2.0 right now, yo. Y'all let me know in the comment section right now if y'all think I sound like Chris Sales right now. Hints <laughs> down below. But tell me why I died and came back to life Saturday. In Panama City, I got my dad down. I passed out in line of the Ferris wheel with Bay, and goddamn, hit my head on the concrete hardest. But I passed out. I didn't have no post. I got rushed to the hospital. Then they took me to Pensacola, Florida. So in the midst of that moment of me in the hospital, all of this shit happening in real time, I get on Instagram and I get up, up in the hospital and I hear this song. And the first thing I hear is all the lies. And I ain't gonna hold y'all. I wanna just apologize for one thing. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna be dead ass under the child. How angry I am and was at the moment and the lie that was put out, it was like I was on demon time. Of, like, I'm just, I gotta prove my point. These Eli, so it's like, what I did wasn't right. That's why I took the picture down in 10 minutes on Snapchat. I was being a child. But it get deeper than that. So it's like. The thing is, everybody screen recorded, everybody screenshotted pictures of Carmen naked, bro. That shit is not cool. That shit is corny and foul as fuck. Like, that's crazy. It's time to take y'all on this on this on this trip with me on YouTube. Y'all finna y'all finna see something. A person that's been lying to y'all for so long to try to cover their ass and figure their life out to to say that I made Diddy look like an angel is beyond me. 
Like, and, and it's like everybody knows this, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's in the circle. I, I really feel sorry because I don't know what the hell Floyd and Ebony, like they always been about money. That's why I really was on the all working with them. I got a lot of proof on this. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, he's saying they always been about money. Meanwhile, he always talking about how Carmen never paid for a bill, how Carmen was living off of him, how Carmen don't got no money, how Carmen don't got nothing to her name. Well, mind you, they had a couple channel called Carmen and Corey, and her name is first in the title. Like, bro, this nigga is corny as fuck, bro. Saying, which I feel to realize is this. And also, I don't let these celebrities and these big YouTubers fool y'all, bro. Okay, they always want to shout, oh, I got money, I got money, y'all niggas is broke, y'all don't really got no say-so. But, like, you could still be a lame with money, you feel me? It don't matter how much money you got, that cannot uncorny you. Like, you're corny, my nigga. You're going to be corny regardless if you got money or not. Money cannot make you uncorny, bro. <laughs> like, Corey is the corniest nigga online. Like, seriously, bro. And y'all gave Chris Sells hate. Y'all need to show the same hate y'all gave Chris Sells to this nigga, bro. For real. The same people that just set this video up and that song up is the same people, the real reason why me and Carmen broke up. And another thing, go on YouTube and go find a video when I spoke on me and Carmen getting into it and I put a gun out. For her to get on here, a lot of y'all say I put a gun in her mouth and put to her head and the way she, it's just like beyond me. But I know who's behind it. But I'm gonna show y'all so much shit that's gonna fuck all y'all up. But for a person to get on here that been lying to y'all this long and, and she let these people use her, I don't know, to make money or whatever the fuck they got going on on that side of her. We're going to break it all the way down to everything she kind of low-key said. You feel me? Like, I'm a, I got it all up. It's, like, it's beyond me. But now, I'm in a relationship now, and it's like, if this really was true anyway, she would have been, you would have tried to been say something about this or anything, if it was true. And on top of that, I feel like now that I'm in a relationship, I got to go ahead and clear the air up, and I got to just go ahead and show y'all the real truth behind our relationship, me and Carmen. Y'all going to see my wrongs, but I already admitted for it on the internet. Like, I done moved on, you know what I'm saying? I done grew from a lot of my mistakes, so, like, it ain't. You you keep trying to use my past against me. I get that. It's okay, but it's like, damn, like, you can't keep trying to use the past against somebody. But I'm going to show y'all go, go, go shit a lot of this shit up, and y'all going to really look at this person so different because I hate I got to do this. It really shocked me. Like this came out of nowhere. Like it's like fuck when she back with Florida Ebony them. And it's like I really left her alone because like she's in her own right. Move on. Now I gotta really show everybody who she really is. And now I'm gonna take out this shirt. So first of all, <laughs> you really want to do it this? It kind of made me upset. A lot of the lies she put in this shit. So much of the shit is made up. I'm going to tell y'all the dog. A lot of this shit made up. Carmen been lying to y'all since we broke up. When me and Carmen first broke up, me and Carmen, she said she, she said her, her, her video where she got caught testing the guy or whatever. The guy was somebody that was inside my house that was like, that's real cool with me, that's close with me. Um, she did a lot of y'all. She everything that happened, we was good. You feel me? She went to her friend's house drinking and whatever. My intuition told me she was chilling. No bullshit. Chill. I just actually knew she got to the studio. I got proof around my whole house. Everybody know that's what goes on around her. So a lot of the lies that she Yo, the thing is, bro, how many times he gonna bring up this text message, yo? Like this nigga always talking about, oh, I call her texting, I call her texting this guy. Like, bro, like. She texts one nigga, bro. Not saying it's okay, because that's still cheating. You feel me? Well, I don't really think it's cheating. Texting, I just think it's a form of disrespect for your relationship. But, um, like, he keep bringing that up. But this nigga, he be sleeping with other bitches. He be sleeping with other females. 
<laughs> like how you be cheating OD freely and get and still keep bringing up the fact that she too sexing one one dude, bro. <laughs> like, yo, the narcissism manip manipulation is crazy. But I kind of baffles me because it's like, yo, you know, you got, I got real eyes. Everybody that knows you, I got hella videos. I got, I got everything. You let two people get in your head, try to get some money. Cause I ain't gonna hold you. I've been like healing. So I really ain't been seeing my, my girlfriend. She deleted Instagram on my phone. So I ain't been seeing nothing. I ain't been on here. But so, but it's like, I can imagine how viral this shit going because I know who behind it. But y'all just really went viral just for me to come and just really shut y'all the fuck down and really show who y'all really are. This is some crazy shit. And I was moving on fine. I wasn't even fucked up out there. Let's break this shit all the way down from a lot of the shit that Carmen said or whatever. We're going to break everything down. From the moment she lied to y'all, said she came back to me for the kids, full blown lie. I was in Houston getting my teeth done. Carmen lied to y'all. She said that she don't keep my kids from me. That she, yes, she does. Carmen do this because Carmen know that's the only way she can kind of hold me up. I mean, I ain't going to lie. As much as I really kind of dislike this dude, I don't know him, but from what I've seen on the internet, he seems like a shitty individual. But I feel like I feel like he not lying about this. I feel like Shorty probably was keeping the kids from him. Women do that. A lot of women get mad at they they husbands or they boyfriends, baby daddies and stuff, and then keep the kids away from them because they don't feel like being in contact with the father, dealing with the father, harassing them and shit like that. So they just feel like they're more at peace without them even having any type of content, a contact. And the majority of the time, the mother always have the kids. So I do believe him when he said Carmen was keeping the kids from him. But at the same time, can you blame her? Look what he's harassing her online. I mean, you know, I don't think no kids should be kept from their father, but bro, like what she got to do to get some peace, my boy? You know what I'm saying? So, but I do believe him. I do believe him on that aspect. The rest, I don't know about all that, but. Hold me to her. You feel me? Like she do this all the time. Like anytime me and Carmen get into it, she go try to use the kids. All right, boom. It's, I, Carmen got three domestic violence cases. If I put a gun in your mouth, if I put a gun in your head, if I did all of this stuff that you claim that I did, why in the hell? Oh, you got to show the paperwork. If you got proof, you got to show the paperwork. Where's the paperwork? We going 10, 1090 Jake right now. We're 1090 Jake when we need him, bro. Where's the paperwork? We need to see that. I'm not saying you lying, my boy, but I'm saying where's the paperwork? We dropping receipts, right? You just talking. You feel me? Talking through them big ass teeth. <laughs> yo, that's another thing. Yo, why the fuck rich people always getting fake teeth? Like, all right, look, I understand some people need them, veneers. I get it. But some people just want to do it because it's a style and don't even need them. I don't know what his teeth look like before that. But right now, it look like a lot of the shit he lying through them teeth. All right, let, let me stop talking because my, my voice fucked up. Yeah, you haven't put me in jail. You try to get the law me. I called the police on Carmen three times, well, more than three times, actually, y'all. And I did it in front of some friends to be as that. So a lot of the girls that follow her page that know her, even that was at our house, remember this night. Well, Carmen, Carmen get mad. Carmen throws so she's aggressive. I know I keep falling pausing, but... I ain't gonna lie, he might be telling the truth though. I know I was just chatting about his lying to his teeth, but <laughs> he might be telling the truth because Carmen even said in her video, she was like, There's been times where she had she might have got mad, pushed him, or whatever she said, she pushed him and shit like that. So he could be telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? But regardless, not but. But I'm going to say but, not but, but I'm going to say but. Regardless, pulling out a gun is crazy. Did she pull out a gun on you? You feel me? That's what I'm saying. 
she's abusive, bro. She be punching, she be hitting, she get shit like she throw it. If the Latina, I don't know, but like, you know, like that how bad it get. So she throwing chairs one night going crazy, like doing the absolute most. I called the police on me. Texas police is so different because it's like they somehow turn the situation back into the man. It's the most weirdest shit ever. I called the, the, the police on Carmel another time. She was like being abusive as fuck. I got videos. I'm going to show y'all the proof. So don't just listen to the things that I say. I'm going to show y'all the proof. Y'all going to see it with y'all own eyes. Like, I recorded yeah, something, everything. I always record stuff. And it's funny to me because I never thought I'd be using this stuff. But I always record it because I say to myself, I say, bro, I see how women get down and how y'all get away with shit. So as a man, you got to always protect yourself at all costs. But you better have your proof somehow, somewhere, because if not, bro, your ass is grass. He right, though. He not lying about that. As you know what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of fellas. Uh, Y'all fellas, it's a lot of good fellas out there. They get pinned for, for shit they didn't do by a female. So he right about that. But <laughs> Corey is not a good fella. <laughs> and I don't even know this dude. I'm 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 speaking on what he put out on the internet, and it shows he's a shitty individual. I'm just saying. If I didn't have proof of, against all of this, all y'all gonna try to come over here, tell us I'm a motherfucking woman, beat all the weird ass shit, like dead ass. The smell, bro. This, yo, peep the smell. Why is he smiling? Saying that. Why is he smiling saying that? What? All y'all gonna come here and try to delete off, off this one lie. What a, the lies you get from this song, who I really am. Y'all gonna come over here and try to believe everything she said. If I ain't had nothing to prove, I'm gonna show y'all. And y'all gonna see if she if she been lying, and I'm gonna prove to y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all how bad of a lie it is. I'm gonna show y'all how bad she been lying to y'all. And going along with everything she's doing right now. Dead ass. So we're gonna hop into it before we even get too far in this. I'm gonna hit so many pinpoints real quick to bring everything together with y'all. You remember she kept lying to everybody saying that we wasn't back together, we wasn't talking enough like that. When I went to Houston, y'all, Carmen called, takes my phone at five o'clock in the morning. Now, Precious is my witness to everything in this whole entire situation. She got on her video and lied to y'all, said that. I moved the girl in. I'm like, she made all this shit up. She lying to y'all. It's so crazy. We're going to break everything down. But Carmen takes me at five in the morning as she left the club. And she knew I was in town. She thought about me. She told me that I'm out. But she called my phone. That's how we met. And I texted her. I said, I didn't even want to text her first because I was like, what the fuck? But then I texted her back and I told her, I said, we need to link up. We need to talk. Ooh. So she didn't. So we met. We decided to link up and go to um, the restaurant. We called, uh, uh, what the name of the restaurant? Fuck, it's in Houston. I ain't gonna lie like that hoodie you got on, though. What hoodie is that? It's your fire. The, uh, the, the, the seafood restaurant over in, um, near the gallery area, I got the name of it. But we went there, right? I didn't find out that the kids wasn't with her until I walked outside in the car that morning from the hotel. So when I walked outside in the car, I was literally expecting to see the kids. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I opened the door, they're not in there. She looked at me, she was like, oh, the kids is not here. Uh, they're in Alabama. So that's when I was like, okay. So you got to tell the stories how everything would go. And she, bro, I'm going to break this shit down, all the lies. I haven't seen too much of it. I'm going to go look and see everything that y'all see. And I'm going to sit back and laugh at y'all. And we're going to be sitting back and laughing at this side. Yo, bro, we get in the car. We go to the restaurant. Put the place over the G, some, some fucking restaurant. And so we get there. Man, I apologize to Carmen face to face. No, I asked her a question first. I asked her, was, did you lie to me when you told me that you wasn't illegal? Like, you didn't know that you were in the league. And she said, no, she didn't lie. So I was like, thank you. You're in the restaurant. Then I apologized to her for why I went so hard because I told the real that, yo, this girl lied to me saying that she's an immigrant. She was, when she wasn't an immigrant, whatever, she married me, all this shit. I got a whole story of how it happened. It was fucked up. Her and her mom would be that. And that's why I was so angry. You feel what I'm saying? When I found out. So I apologized to her about this. Are we back cool? We went to her house that night. We had sex that night. We was that good from that night, from that day on four. So everything that y'all kept seeing on her end, 
she was the one making me not like not say nothing. Like she don't about no be good, whatever. So she was lying to y'all the whole entire time. And I'm saying this because it's like for you to even get on here and even lie to even make your lies, you gotta make it make sense when you know that you thought I was dead or something. They must what the hell thought I wasn't gonna come on here and really tell the whole true story. So we was like, so so boom, so we're gonna we're gonna break it down right here. So you know I did an interview on Tasha K, right? We're gonna get to her blog in a minute. The blog, the, the song and the blog is the blog will get you, we're gonna break this shit down, it's gonna be crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how she done lied to y'all, but it's wrong so far, so y'all can see how the lies is adding right now. So if y'all that don't know, I did a vlog with Tasha K video, right? Everything I had tried to I got an idea, but it's like, I don't know what she's seen video. And I told the true story. I was telling the true story about everything that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like how, how things were going and stuff like that. I'm, me and Carl cool this whole time. Like we all, like, I'm going to show y'all how cool y'all, I'll show y'all these messages and things. But, and I told her exactly what I said on the podcast. And she was like, uh, oh, are you saying that? I'm like, yo, bro, like, this is how it's supposed to be. It's positive. I'm not going to go here and lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling everybody, like, how we really are the truth. That folks get pissed out of marriage at the end of the day. She, but I knew she had to do the same podcast the next week, right? She went on her podcast, and what happened was Ebony was with her. she been lying to Ebony the whole time, like me and her not talking or whatever, I guess, right? And when Tasha K said some things, and Ebony was in there, and she lied about everything, trying to cover her ass to Ebony. So that was her interview. She How long until, you know, y'all were serious? Um, I'm sure the first, the first thing. Her. You feel what I'm saying? And I got the proof to back everything up. So let's just go ahead and back this shit up some more. We'll go back it up back to So when all this went down, right? When Michi had posted this video of her kissing after I had posted church, you see she tells me she said, piss the fuck off. Woo-woo. So at this moment, I'm going to show y'all what's going on, right? She, when she was in Atlanta, you know, the whole Atlanta situation, everybody kept saying she was in Atlanta with Michi. They thought I was trolling. Like Everybody kept thinking that I was just trolling y'all. Like I'm just psyching out. No, I was... Literally, I, I was in control of the narrative. Carmen knew everything that was going on. Carmen, I'm texting Carmen. Like, we, we talking. We're good. You feel me? Y'all thought we was tweaking. She's just not saying nothing. That's why she looked so safe and so innocent because she was quiet the whole time. She was quiet the whole time because she was lying to y'all the whole time. Now that she speak out with a lie, that's why it looked, it looked so believable to y'all because, oh, she's just not. Yeah, nah, she, listen, I'm going to be real. I hate to say this, but like she's going through some real life shit. What the? What the hell? Oh snap! Okay. I don't know what y'all what y'all think. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Who y'all think of telling the truth, Corey or Carmen? Or do y'all think they both lying? Me, I feel like they both lying to a certain degree in certain situations. I feel like Carmen telling the truth about a lot of what was going on. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Corey telling the truth about some of the things that's going that was going on. Like the whole Carmen trying to keep it a secret that they was getting back together and working on their marriage. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know in the comment section before I head out though. Subscribe to my channel. You heard, put your chest in it. Smash that like button, turn your personal notifications. And um, I'm sorry about my voice, bro. Like Chris, I'm um, Chris Sells in it right now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'll see y'all in the comments. Let's.